good morning students i hope you all are fine so let's start the question answers of lesson number 2 so the exercise number 4 write the full form of the following so number 1 is basic write down beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code second prologue programming logic next cobol common business oriented language fourth fortan formula translation so write down these four full forms in your notebook and students please start to maintain the notebooks now the next is answer in one and two sentences so the first question is what is a program so answer is a program is a set of instructions given to a computer to get a particular task done i again repeat a program is a set of instructions given to a computer to get a particular task done second question what is a computer language answer is a computer language is a special language understood by the computer it consists of a set of word symbol and codes that is used to write a computer program now question number c who are programmers and what is their work the answer is the people who can write programs are called programmers so here are the two questions who are programmer and what is their work i mentioned the two answer in one sentence that is the people who can write program write program means work and the people who can write program are called programmer so in a single sentence two answers now d question what do you mean by source program so answer is a program written in a language other than machine code is called source program for example assembly language procedural language etc i also want to say that ki those those students already done these question answers please also recheck your question answers now e question what is the role of assembler an assembler is a program used to translate assembly language into machine language so that the computer can understand it and also make this diagram that is a assembly language binomic codes input arrow assembler arrow output machine language and this is the machine language 01101001 and also make this diagram in your notebook F question what is a language processor so answer is a language processor is a software that converts source program into machine language compiler and interpreter are the examples of language processors now the exercise number 6 answer briefly so the first question is question number a how will you classify programming languages so answer is programming languages are classified into two major categories number 1 low level language triple l then again split number 1 machine language second assembly language second high level language hll three parts number 1 procedural language second non procedural language and third is natural language and also make this flow chart category of programming languages low level language high level language machine language first generation language assembly language second generation language procedural language third generation language non procedural language fourth generation language and the natural language fifth generation language firstly write down this content and after that make this flow chart also this is your answer a of exercise number 6 now the b question difference 
between procedural and non procedural programming language so number one procedural language it is also called a third generation language that is a 3gl in this language the programmer write instruction that tells the computer what to complete and how to do it for example a double d for addition or p r i n t for print c basic pascal cobol and fortran are the examples of third generation language that is a procedural language next non procedural language it is also called a fourth generation language that is a 4gl in this language the programmer only specifies what the program should accomplish without explaining how and the visual basic java oracle etc are the examples of fourth generation language that is a non procedural language now question number c how is machine language different from assembly language so one side you will write on machine language and second side you will write on assembly language to so start to write on in machine language it is also called first generation language it is a language directly understood by a computer without any translation i again repeat the first point it is also called a first generation language second it is a language directly understood by a computer without any translation third it refers to zeros and ones that a computer can understand as instructions now in assembly language it is also called second generation language number 2 it uses short sequence of letters called monomic code such as a double d for addition third point assembler is a program used to translate assembly language into machine language so three points for machine language and three points for assembly language now the question number d differentiate between compiler and interpreter so number 1 is compiler a compiler converts high level language program into machine language it converts the entire high level language program into machine language at once and also display error for the whole program together i again repeat a compiler convert high level language program into machine language it converts the entire high level language program into machine language at once and also displays error for the whole program together now interpreter interpreter also convert high level language into machine language it convert one line of program at a time it display the error one line at a time and goes to the next line only after correction of that error so this is the answer number d differentiate between compiler and interpreter now the next is exercise number 7 application based question and exercise number 8 label the following chart this one so student this is your homework you will complete the exercise number 7 application based question for that you have to read the full chapter and find out the answer of exercise number 7 and draw this diagram this uh, uh, sorry label this flow chart this one for this flow chart you can refer the page number 10 and the next homework is uh, you will read this chapter and start to learn the book exercise and question answers also and please students make your notebooks neat and clean and draw the single line after each question so i hope so in the next video we will start the new chapter thank you